same thing as what John talked about for uh, MS uh, Fitchburg, we're kind of doing the same thing as we're a small community. But for those of you who are familiar with what Greenville is, we're about 35 miles southwest of Green Bay and 105 miles northwest of Milwaukee. And in 2000, we just surpassed our 10,000 mark, which is a big deal for us, but we're still a very small community. 36 square miles. So it had been a one-person department for about six years, basically going out in the field, collecting all the data, along with all the attributes, getting engineering firms to send us the CAD files and converting them, bringing them into GIS and printing maps. Um, interns, the last three to four years, have been great help. And it's just been a 100% desktop environment with two licenses, one basic and one standard concurrent for when we did have interns who needed to do some editing. So as we were growing, we were obviously facing some challenges. We had a lot of infrastructure. Greenville is a very fast growing community. So we needed to figure out how to expand the functionality of our current system in order to get it out to our field workers because I wanted to start the field workers to be able to collect their own data. So what we decided to do um, in order to distribute this geospatial information for them to collect the data themselves as well as update the data. Um, we needed to get buy-in, first of all, from the department heads that, you know, one person wasn't cutting it anymore and that we had a lot of infrastructure we needed to collect yet and how were we going to financially do that on such a small budget. We researched a few solutions. Did we want to go through outside contractors and have them host our data for us or did we want to do it internally ourselves? We decided to go with our GS online for the reasons that John mentioned. It's very, very cost effective for what you need to do with the data that you have and it's pretty user friendly for the outside users. So what we decided to do is a recommendation by Esri is to partner with GIS Inc. and go with their local government jumpstart package. So prior to one week training that I had with them coming on site to our facility, we basically had a phone conference saying, okay, what are your goals, what do you want to do? We sat down and figured out five users for the 2,500 a year, and basically it was our five different departments, so we were going to have five departments utilizing this. We wanted to be able to get as much data out there as quickly as possible in this four and a half days, really, that we're on site. And what we were able to do is deploy 10 different feature classes, everything from our storm, sanitary, public works data to trees, um, some of the administration stuff that they wanted. We got web apps created, so they were on the website, and we deployed maps and apps for the different department. And we got some training on ArcGIS, or collected for ArcGIS all within that week. So we have seen results in all of our different departments. Our administration, our town administrator mainly would be contacting me looking for large scale maps or numerous handouts for the different um, park commission meetings, town board meetings. Now what he is doing, the actual administrator, is on the website using the web, app, web apps that we created. We have everything from our concept plan to our agreement plan. We have about 12 different maps that are out there. And at least twice or three times a month, he's bringing these maps up and zooming in and zooming out, and the public is able to say, okay, this is my address, how do I fall within the zoning? And he's utilizing that in his meetings. Our streets department had been using the very cumbersome arc pad check-in and check-out process. Um, they would bring it to me and then we would check in and check out, and then a lot of the data would not only be lost because of for whatever reason, but because they weren't collecting data all the time, they would forget the process. So I felt like I was retraining them every three or four months. Now they're using Collector for ArcGIS. They have a tablet, and they're working basically on our street signs. We have about 1,800 street signs, and they've been doing maintenance on them. They've been taking the photos. So basically what I've seen in the streets department is that they're taking more pride in their work because they're seeing what they're doing. And if it's not correct, they have to go back and say, okay, well, why is this? Well, because they forgot something, not that I forgot to put something up before. Our stormwater department, basically we had a lot of electronic data from the different engineering firms. And it was just sitting on my computer, even in CAD or GIS. And so they would come to me and say, okay, where's the easement, where's the infrastructure? And now they're using Collector 
for ArcGIS with the tablet also and being able to go out and see their structure. We're just starting, so they're doing some of the private BMPs. They're going to be collecting, I've done some training on that this last week, and they're going to be doing that themselves using the blockchain also. Our water and sanitary, I think, are going to be the biggest users because there's so much inspection. There's water valve, you know, they're turning the water valves, they're doing their fire, their hybrids, because our fire department is volunteer. Voluntary, they're doing I and I inspections, and so I was distributing maps every year, lots of maps. I was printing out, they would have a highlighter, they would bring it back to me, and I was doing updates. Now they have all of their inspections, everything they do every year is out there for them to do themselves. They are using iPads, so you'll see that we've got tablets, we've got iPads, we have some people using phones, so we're really using a gamut of um, field software. Um, right now, they're not doing a lot of detailed changes, but they're at least being able to go out and say, okay, where is this curve stop? Instead of coming to me three or four times a week and saying, I can't find it. Well, now we can go to that parcel, click on the curb stop, and see in the comments, oh, it's here. That's why I can't find it. Or it's 10 feet in somebody's floor bed. So it saved them time for not having to come in and drive back to the office and ask them questions also. Our Parks, Rec, and Forestry Department, the department had actually had a GIS background and was familiar with it prior to me starting there six years ago, so I immediately had his buy-in. But he was using an access database for his street, or his, um, his tree and building. So what we were doing is we were taking the channel, I was going and mapping all of the new places to plant the trees, bringing it back into GIS, pushing it out to access, he was making his updates, giving it back to me, and we were going on the field. Doing now he's using a collective for our GIS and he's doing this all himself. He's not only um, mapping the new locations, but he's able to create his own maps and he's giving it to his two field workers and they're doing the pruning schedules. They're doing all of those things on their own. Um, they're using actually using the phones to do this. So. The voluntary fire and rescue department, as I mentioned, um, every year, I was printing a 152-page map book, about 17 copies each, for them to see updates because we have a lot of addresses every year. Now, I've created a web app so they can see all the buildings that have hazardous material. They can see their FDCs, we can zoom in. Um, what we'd like to do next is be able to click on those and then bring up the site maps. We're not quite there yet. But uh, we will get there with them. We are still printing some map books because we have some automatic data payments. So it is, but it certainly has eliminated a lot of the print process for us. Um, our future plans. Uh, we're going to probably buy a couple more tablets because Stormwater and Public Works are sharing that right now. Um, for that kind of detail, we like the tablets rather than the phones. We want to start doing some more data analysis. Um, we've got three guys that have a pretty good understanding as to how to sort out or filter out their trees. But we just had the building department come to me in the last three weeks and say, how come all these guys have these maps and we don't? And I can get that for you. So we're actually going to be purchasing another five um, users in the next budget so that the building department can start utilizing this. And we want to integrate <coughs> interdepartmental attachments. We want to be able to get those site plans out there or the building plans for the building inspection. And then I'm trying to keep up the new advancements in ArcGIS Online. I will say there have been many hiccups with ArcGIS Online, but we've been able to work most of them out. So it has always been really good with working with them. 